very good friend for many years to me. I miss him. But uh, he loved MRT Lexify. And I was always like, why isn't it just Mr. T Lexify? And he's like, no, it's MRT Lexify. Uh, Lex apparently did a lot of Zoomer content with like COD zombies or whatever. And uh, he said, this is extremely embarrassing to post, but this proves my ex was lying about the age of the guy she cheated on me with. This conversation was in 2022 for Coachella and it speaks for itself. I've retained legal counsel and need to let the investigation complete itself first. I would like to also add that I'm dating someone my age currently, and we are planning to have a family. I have become a Christian and repented with this incident, and hope I can spread Christianity regardless of my fault and errors. Christ saves. Genuinely not something I would have ever expected from this guy. When I, when I was a small streamer and I was still friends with Seth, again, the only reason I know who MRT Lexify is, is because I had video requests on. At one point, I was small enough that people could put videos into a queue and midstream I could just play and watch them with chat. And Seth would always load up MRT Lex clips. And every time I would play one of the MRT Lex clips, I would lose like half of my viewers. <laughs> So every everyone hated Seth for constantly playing Lex clips. And then at one point during my October spooky months, I had I had a Lex soundbite that Seth wanted added where where he was screaming, "Wake up!" over and over. At least we aren't looking at Dracula flow. Wait, why? <laughs> no clue who that guy is, but I'll take Christianity over insanity. I like, I don't want to watch six minutes and 41 seconds of like, whatever the fuck this is. I just thought it was, uh, really, really funny, honestly. I just thought it was really funny that I actually knew who this guy was. But, uh, somebody quote retweeted this, who I guess, like... Oh man, I read a little bit on the screen on this pause frame. He said, I want that purity. We were pure and still are. And the chick said, I just don't think we had that. He and I did spontaneous things together. Lex had a sad face. A baby grill says, you and I don't really do spontaneous things. I miss him. You're right. Lex said, I haven't really had the same opportunities. You guys got to be together in a big house doing so many cool spontaneous things. I never had that for that long. I'd do anything for that and to do all the spontaneous things with you. A baby grill says, but I'm only saying this shit because you fucking sucked the life out of me. You made me miss him more. And Lex said, I know, I'm sorry. I want you to miss me more. This is so sad, man. This is so sad. I cheated and it's your fault. But somebody quote retweeted. The face when a real jacker pulls off with your girl. Hashtag true goon. A uh, baby girl said, he straight up told me that he masturbated five times in a row to my Instagram pictures and I fell in love with that attention because no one has ever given me that attention. And Lex said, babe, I do that too. I just thought you'd think it's gross when I say that. Baby girl said, he knew what I wanted without me saying it. Lex responds, that's why I don't. You don't know that I masturbate every photo you send me. Baby Grill says, yeah, yeah. And Lex goes, everyone, multiple times, religiously. Baby Grill says, it's not the same. Let me, let me explain something out here for you guys who aren't real jackers. If your girl is sending you photos, she wants you to like them. You should be telling her how much you like them. It's going to make her feel good if she is dating you and you tell her you're getting off to her photos. Real Jackers TM. What the fuck is this? Hey girl, I really like them. My PP likes them. I'm fucking down abysmal. You lied to us. Gooning works after all. I don't think this is gooning if you're in a relationship. And this is also a consistent opinion from myself, considering I've said one of the best things you can do is tease your man while he's at work. So when he comes home, he wants to ravage the fuck out of you. All right, okay? All right, okay? If I'm not asking you to send me pee pee pics while you're in the parking garage, uh, you know, there's a problem. <laughs> 
women leave because relationship boring and want something new. Guy sounds like a cuck and is turning to Christ to get some level of manhood back. I don't think he sounds like a cuck. I, I think he is very unfortunately, right? Like, especially in that freeze frame I accidentally hit over here. He's very unfortunately, like, was in love with whoever this woman is. And uh, she was kind of a cunt. Uh, she was kind of a cunt. Can confirm if a female friend is sending you pictures of herself, is it flirting? Yes. <laughs> yes. Are you, uh, it's like, I feel like a lot of people just aren't really into sending pictures. <laughs> Boy's whipped. I wouldn't even say he's whipped. I'd say this is like normal. From his perspective, he's acting like a normal in a relationship person. And she's being crazy. She's not just a cunt. She's a pedo. The guy she cheated with is a minor. Oh, fuck. See, he didn't. He said that this is extremely embarrassing. My ex was lying about the age of the guy she cheated on me with. I had no idea that the guy she cheated on him with was a minor. What the fuck is wrong with her? I- I don't- I'm not a fan of Lex's content, but how the fuck- How the fuck are you gonna cheat on him with a minor? What- what the fuck? That's why you said she belongs to the streets? What a piece of shit! These were photos posted on Instagram, not directly sent to him. The gooner was just jacking it to public photos. Yeah, that's weird. That's why I didn't say jerking it to public photos. That's why I said if she's sending you directly photos, right? That's a bit different. Girl sent me some pics. They weren't even fully nude. She was hot. Hardcore lefty feminist. Has an OnlyFans. Glad I dodged that. Glad you dodged the bullet, dude. Spontaneously, whatever age he decides to tell you he is. What the fuck? <laughs> to the streets? The streets don't even want a pedo. They'll lynch them. With all the hacking on phone companies, you can't blame people not wanting to share naughty pics. Yeah. Not even just the hacking, but all the people who are into, like, doing the revenge porn shit. Uh, it's dangerous to send pictures, man. So she fell in love with a minor because he told her that he was you jacking to her pics. Meds, hey! You can't make me! I, ge I, I genuinely hope that she wasn't talking about a minor in that context because holy shit. Holy fuck if that's what she was talking about. I just thought this was a funny thing that happened. But apparently this is way worse than I thought she was. Chad, is this real? <laughs> holy fuck! <laughs> holy shit! This has just gone off the rails, man! What a fucking piece of work! Damn. It only- it only gets worse! It never gets better! No- no wonder Lex is just like, I've become a Christian. Christ saves. I- I had a woman who was addicted to a minor gooning to her public pictures. Oh my god, that- If that don't make you turn to Christ, nothing will, man. <laughs> No wonder he was being cucked. She wasn't into grown-ups. Oh my god. Dude found God after that? Uh, yeah, yeah, like, I've, it doesn't surprise me. Oh my god. She was the devil. V very likely. You hate judging people by their appearances, but when you see a woman with blue, green, or pink hair, you turn around and walk away. She has a side shave on that head. You look behind me while I'm running to make sure she isn't following. True. True and real. You mean this whole time all you had to do was rat on yourself? Look, if you're gooning to public pictures, keep that shit to yourself. I explicitly said that if you're in a relationship with someone and they're sending you pictures, they want to know that you're jerking it to them. They want they want to know how you feel about them. And this doesn't just go for women, right? If a, if a man is, if a man that I'm dating is feeling himself, right? And he's just like, I'm gonna take a picture for this bitch. And I get a picture of him, like, with his pants down and, like, his hand on his stomach. I am going to autistically analyze that and compliment the fuck out of him. I was like, right? Meat and hand gaming. I was like, I'm gonna compliment the meat and the hand and the tummy. I was like, I'm gonna compliment him because I appreciate that he did that. Why would anyone want to send pics like that? Again, it is dangerous in current year because you don't know which people are psychos, right? I feel like if you're in a long-term relationship and you trust the person, it should be fine. But, like, teasing someone while they're at work or, like, when you're, you're like, apart for whatever reason, like, maybe someone's on a, on a fucking work trip or whatever, I think that can be fun to do with someone that you're in a long-term relationship with. Gotta hit him with the Pippa. Wow, Tommy! I, I love, I love hairy man, Tommy. If you're a man and you shave your happy trail and it's not for Olympic swimming, you're a cuck. 
Don't send pics. Only nut vids with name moaning. This guy knows the strats. <laughs> Unfortunate double standard, but don't send pictures of your penis. It's cursed to be wide banded on the whole fucking internet. You don't want to be done dirty like pro Jared. The actual pro strat is send pictures of your penis, but make sure your face is not in them. Remember to tell your kids to never do this until they're 18? Yes. Yeah, all, if, you're, if you let your child have a phone, be like, never send pictures of yourself, ever. L literally put the fear of God into them. Like those, those pictures will end up online and everyone will make fun of you. I think your fupa is great. Telfer, thank you for the gift, Mamba. Thank you. Help. Just remember that a lot of those photos on your phone get uploaded to the cloud. I have never turned cloud sharing on on my phone. Uh, cause I feel like cloud sharing is not secure. <laughs> Help! My phone yells at me to back it up, like, every fucking day. And I just say, no, fuck you, phone. Someone sent a dick pic, but they had put googly eyes on said snake. Is it technically illegal or parody? I mean, if it's unsolicited, it's unsolicited. It doesn't matter how you dress it up. But also, if I was in a relationship with someone and they sent me a dick pic with googly eyes on it, I would find that endearing. I would think it's funny. I wouldn't get turned on, but I, I would have a bit of a giggle, you know? <laughs> Googly eyes and top hat. I am gonna put a tiny top hat on your penis. If you send your man a push pick, you better send back bone appetit. <laughs> Kirsha, probably. Uh, true. This is why we need instant Polaroid cameras to make a comeback. Send someone a physical photo they can keep in a notebook. What a weird thing. What a weird thing. Feel nothing, a bunch of celebrities had their cloud storage hacked and got a lot of nudes leaked. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh you know, feels bad for them. Cloud sharing is like offering up your data to the nerds. Yeah, don't don't opt into cloud sharing, dude. You are legally obligated to put googly eyes on the nips if he does. <laughs> you miss a bigger problem. The AI is always scanning for weird shit and can flag something as illicit material even when it's not. Yeah? Yeah, I've tried posting things in Discord. And I have, I have like, uh, the, the filter on for my server so that things that are illicit can't be posted in the non not safe for work channels. Sometimes it misses things, but also sometimes it doesn't let me post things that aren't explicit at all. And I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? And clouds can be seen by everyone who looks at the sky. My perspective toward cloud share. Did I see the YouTube Indian channels posting thumbnails with girls showing full bush? No. Why would the Indians do that? <laughs> that's, that's a bit- that's a bit wild, my guy! 